was in Kmart yesterday and came across an intriguing product that I thought was worth a video. Having a look on the back, it doesn't say a lot. Built-in rechargeable battery powered via a USB cable. So it draws some power, there's most likely an amplifier in it. And output power 3 watts, which is a bit hard to believe for a battery powered device with a small speaker. As usual, made in China and probably a Kmart own brand type item, though you should be able to get some in similar stores overseas. The first hint that this speaker might do a bit more was what was around the bottom. Oh, you know where I went on Monday? No. The Island of Mud. You actually wet wood off the ground up the ropes, and so I, I only tried it one. Well, could you keep an eye on the time? Yes, you've been here at all. Sorry, what was that? Could you keep an eye on the time, thank you? Yes, certainly. Since this has been done in the pink tape, I might ex... So it is, it is now recording. You are listening to a podcast from Australia's best-known community radio station, 3RRR, 102.7 in Melbourne. Here basically gave you increased volume. It is just this little dob of mud in the middle of the bay. You rip it off the ground up the right. Or just momentarily yeah, touching it nine. changes to another back. audio file. Testing it. Another thing of note is when you plug in the charging cable, press in the switch, you get a familiar FM hiss. I think I'm like furries, those people that dress up in like the animal costumes and... No. No. There's a girl at our school who wears a fox tail. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she, cause oh. she, cause she think, we asked her and she thinks she's part fox, that's why. Yeah, yeah, Did she say that? Yeah, she thinks she's part fox, so we're like, oh, wow. that's really cool. No, maybe she... Light FM is your voice, your story, alpaca. Oh, yeah, that, that was good. before I was made redundant late last year and yeah it makes sense here's the mushroom speaker under test for the purpose i bought it for that is an amplified speaker i've connected it to a regenerative receiver that's only designed for use with headphones <laughs> This is a crude test of the frequency response of the mushroom speaker using frequency. If you look at the peak, the peak is around 2 or 3 kilohertz and there's a pronounced drop off below about 400 hertz, which is a pretty good band pass for listening to SSB. Most notable is the large drop off above about 4 kilohertz, which means that this speaker would be quite good if you're using it with an unselective direct conversion receiver, which won't have much filtering up here. This video wouldn't be complete without having a look inside. In the top is a chunky looking speaker, about 40 millimeters across, with a huge magnet, and you might be able to see. What looks like a little LED. In the stem of the mushroom is the rechargeable batteries. That's recharged from a USB if plugged into a computer. Looks like it's glued to the stem so I'm not going to take it out. And then the main board. For something that only costs $2.50, it's surprisingly well engineered and, unusually, actually does more than what it says on the box. If you see one, it could be worth buying, as it could have some uses around the shack. <laughs> 